Jumbo and Hibargani, everybody. Again, it's April 1st, 2023. We're still out here. It's starting to rain a little bit, but I asked the tree guy to show me what his machine would do uh, if it cut the road through. And he's just getting ready to demonstrate for me uh, what it can do and what a clearing would look like where the road is actually going to come. So I jumped back on live real quick to film this video so we can see what the road would possibly look like. Y'all see that tree just come down? Did y'all see that? Let me get on the side for a better view. And this is not the, you know, the road. Actually, we're just, he's just demonstrating and showing me what his machine can do and what a clearing would look like where the road is actually going to go. So I just wanted to, to see some of them trees come down. Look, it's going all in there, y'all. Do y'all see that? It's all up and through there. Wow. Oh my goodness. It's literally making its own path in there. That is something. That machine is small and compact, but it is mighty. Wow. I'm gonna try to walk far enough away from the machine but get behind it to give you all another view of the path he's just cut in. But even on the machine itself, if you look on that attachment on the front, it says keep back 300 feet. So I'm keeping my distance. But I'm also can you all see that clearing he just made? Yeah. Wow. I can see it. I hope you all can see. That is something. When we get this road to Zion, wall church cemetery cut in here it is going to be amazing and again for those people who are just now tuning in um this is not the actual work of the road coming in the tree guy who was here today getting rid of that last load of trees that were cut and that were left over he's just demonstrating for me what his equipment could do um if he were to 
cut the road in here. And at this point, he's several feet into the woods. Wow. It ate up those trees like Krispy Kreme donuts. Amazing. Amazing. And again, he's staying really on this side. If you look closely in front on the left side of his machine, those pink, pink survey flags that are flying, I tagged and put a bunch of survey uh, tape and flags there because that is a giant bundle of barbed wire. And for safety reasons, I flagged it because I wanted the cleanup cemetery crew um, as well as the professional tree service uh, guys to be aware that it's there because barbed wire can be dangerous if you don't you know know that it's there and know how to handle it so that's the reason he's not going any further to the left because at this point we've been unable to get that barbed wire out of there because it's so much um, barbed wire is on that side where the road is going to come in at and it's also on the other far side of the cemetery that we're going to have to figure out how to get it out of here um, in a safe manner so nobody is hurt um, or cut by it. Yeah, can you all see that road that's in there? Amazing. Amazing. I'm gonna walk up in there. Let me go around this way. Okay, I came to the edge where his machine is, everybody, and I just wanted you all to see the road or the pathway that he's made in there. Amazing. Amazing. Okay, and I just wanted to walk through here so you all can see this pathway that he just created with his machine again everything looked like this these trees this brush you know obviously these leaves and stuff um, there's more trash you all can see all this trash that's here there's the barbed wire that I flag with pink survey tape and there's a thrown away hose but as you can see this is what the road you know would look like nice and clean and flat 